If you're in Indiana, stay tuned because your taxes are going up. Let's start out by talking about the due dates for some key Indiana tax filings. Remember that May 10th and November 10th, generally speaking, plus or minus a few days for weekends and holidays, is when your real estate taxes are due. But if you're in business, also remember that Indiana requires you to file a business personal property tax return here in May. A lot of people blow this off because in recent years, the government has eliminated or reduced the amount of tax that small businesses pay by creating an exemption. So some accountants and some business people blow this form off under the presumption that if you're not gonna owe, why file? Our recommendation here in my practice is to always file the Indiana Business Personal Property Tax Form, even if you don't owe, because that way you can close the book. You can definitely evidence that you filed and you do not owe. We have seen some assessors who, if they know you're in business and that you exist, when you don't file, the assessor may file a form for you. They call that best information available. What does that mean? It means a phony baloney return gets filed. And the problem with that is this, if they send you a bill a couple years later, it's very hard to refute and very difficult to work your way out of. So file the form, close the door. Real estate taxes have been creeping upward in Indiana as well. Why is that? During primetime COVID, central Indiana housing noticed a serious uptick. And the values of houses is what drives your real estate taxes. After those high prices for homes that were sold affected the values for property owners, next came the assessor looking at all the sales that were made, inspecting those sales and seeing the high values on home sales. So they jacked the real estate taxes up reflective of the increase in your home value. I know this is a big strain on so many of you families at a time when inflation is running rampant, bills are up, money may be down, and here comes the assessor with a huge tax bill for you. So in a nutshell, with increased assessments and shaky income, this causes a little bit of uneasiness for Hoosiers facing increased tax bills. What do you guys think? Comment below. I'd like to hear more about what you think about these two Indiana taxes.